What's up my pony yellows? Andy with Andy Vlogs. Excited to share with you guys this content here. As the title suggests, we're gonna be going over a shooting grip here from the folks at Small Rig. Now this is comparable to the Sony grip that uh, they came out with when the ZV-1 came out as well as uh, the 6600, the A6600. And uh, this is for you folks that uh, want to vlog, be able to have more stabilization with the device because typically the mirrorless in-body stabilization for the Sony isn't that good, but having something that's a little tripod that also extends and uh, allows you access to the record and some of the other functions is something that I'm really interested in. Having something like this is going to be able to provide me some stabilization as well as uh, additional uh, shooting modes and hands-free to be able to shoot and vlog with the family. Uh, with that said, Small Rig did not send this to me. I purchased this my, with my own money. Down below in the links in the description will be the product pricing and availability, which helps out the channel. If you guys don't mind um, considering helping out, it would be it would be so grateful. Otherwise, it's all, always optional. With that said, let's go and unbox it, install it, set it up to the device, and then go out and uh, shoot a little tiny bit of vlog. Let's do this. The SR RG1 wireless shooting grip from Small Rig fits quite a few different cameras. Not only Sony, but a bunch of Canon cameras, like the EOS M6 Mark II, M50, M200, etc., PowerShot GX2, and G7X3. On the Sony side, obviously the ZV1, ZVE10. You've got your Alpha 6100 all the way up to 66, Alpha R3, Alpha 7.3, etc. It packs a 200 milliamp battery, carries up to about three pounds. If it's extended on the tripod, you wanna reduce it to maybe about a pound. It's about 0.5 kilograms, so less than a pound. It acts as a tripod. You can pan and tilt with the, the adjustable ball and head joint. You have access to zoom, recording, taking photos, even a C function and turning it on and off. The SR RG1 from Small Rig. Already super impressed. I love how uh, the remote can just come out for a hands-free situation. Uh, I think it's very grippy here on the back. You've got some rubberization. The rest of it is pretty, pretty solid plastic, except for here at the hinge. This is metallic as well as the button. Up here on uh, the plate where you connect your device, this is definitely plastic with a thumb screw quarter inch mount. So if you wanted to have like an iPhone little grip, you can if you want. What's nice here is you can rotate the head itself, changing those modes. You can get the tilt uh, as well. And then the extension rod, I mean, I love that. It, does, it feels a little, a little flimsy here, but it seems like it's reinforced here, um, right there in the aluminum. Other than that, I think this is, uh, this is great. This is something that I'm really looking forward to. The uh, the remote itself is uh, it does come out fairly easily, which is something that I'm not, you know, too keen about. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and uh, install it here, set it up on the device. All right, let's go ahead now and connect it to my A6400. We've got the 18 to 35 millimeter lens. Uh, this is not necessarily a stock lens, but this is an extra lens that you can get. Uh, with an f-stop of 3.5 nonetheless uh, you got your small rig turned on and blinking you go into the menus here uh, we're going to go all the way over to network we're going to turn off uh, control with smartphone we're going to go over then to bluetooth set settings turn it on and then we're going to start pairing in order to pair this here you're going to do c1 and the record button go ahead and press it down it's now solid here there we go, it says allow connection to the device, the SRRG1, hit OK. It's now gonna pair and then it'll go solid here. There it is, hit OK. From here you should have access to be able to hit record. There you go, we're now recording. You push it again to stop the recording. I'm on the recording uh, setting so if I hit the, uh, basically the, the photo button it's not gonna really work. I can press it down halfway to uh, get focus which is nice. Or I can hit C1, whatever I have programmed for C1, which is my focus mode. I can then go up and change uh, that function if I want. We're actually going to go into digital zoom here and uh, fix the digital zoom. And we should be able to then zoom in digitally here. As you can see, up to 4x, which isn't necessarily the, uh, the actual lens itself. It's just digitally zooming. Okay, we're going to move over now to our 18 to 105 G Master. Sony uh, 4.0 f-stop 
uh, what's awesome about this, the same kind of thing. I love being able to zoom all the way to 105 and then 4x past that and you still get a pretty clear image. Lastly here, I wanted to show you that you can connect it to the SV1. Very straightforward, similar interface as, uh, as the 6400. All right, it shows up there, connect to SRRG1, hit OK. Nextly, make sure you have Bluetooth remote control on and then from here you should be able to control it. As you can see, I can push up to zoom in, keep going all the way up to 4x past 70 millimeters. You can press uh, halfway in the photo button to uh, focus, just like that. Obviously, if you're a little too close, you're not going to be able to. You can zoom out by pulling down. Looks great. You can hit the record button if you want. You can also uh, control while you're hitting the record button. It's great. Get pull focus as well. And then you have access to C1 uh, to defocus or to make the background clearer. All right, so here's what it looks like here in uh, Praxis. You can go ahead and change it if you want to have it more uh, linear like that. I just love having um, something that uh, stabilizes while you're panning, tilting. You can uh, obviously zoom in, which is nice. I like the angles here that you can choose from depending on how you want to do this. Uh, and then also you can go into selfie mode, put it in that direction that you want, flip up the camera, and now I've got a very easy manageable selfie camera and I can zoom with it if I wanted to uh, extend it a little bit more you still have that ability and I still feel it's uh, it, it's not too bad it, it still feels like I've got some um, stabilization here we can adjust it slightly here to get that uh, that better uh, angle if you want I hit record now and you can see that uh, I've got quite a bit 18 millimeter on this not full frame lens is going to get me about 25 millimeter here and it's still it's still reasonable here if i wanted to throw on my sony a7 III, then i think the shot will look better nonetheless uh, you can get a bunch of accessories on this to help complement your lifestyle um, your shooting preference all that good stuff in all reality here this is exactly what i wanted when the sony came out with their own camera uh grip and uh honestly theirs fell flat the small rig is fantastic. It's an awesome vlogging apparatus that you guys can take with you if you want. Don't bring this to Disneyland because it does stretch out. They don't like having something like that. But if you're going anywhere else, this is definitely a great option. Lastly here, you're able to put it into tripod mode if you want. I'm going to try to extend it and see if it's a little too heavy. It is. Um, it's definitely not going to be able to hold it. But uh, at this point, it, it, it is pretty stable. I'm actually uh, pretty impressed. Now, if you're going to be uh, putting it on the tripod, I would definitely make sure that you keep the center of balance and flipping it so it looks like it's this way. And you can just go in and grab the remote here from the slot. Um, this is honestly going to be awesome. I don't recommend pulling out the tripod at this point because, uh, oh, wow. Believe it or not, you're actually pretty stable right there. I don't know if, why you'd want to have it a little bit higher off, but... Um, I think this is definitely reasonable if you wanted to get that talk to camera shot and you wanted to be hands free um, and you wanted something like this. This works definitely. All right, my pungios, that about does it. This is uh, this is kind of a, an adorable device here. It's a little heavy. I don't like the slot where the uh, the remote is. It feels like it'll just come right off. Uh, it doesn't really grip very strongly, but nonetheless, you're going to be gripping it, so it's not going to be going anywhere. But if you do throw this in your bag, this might plop off. You'll have to find it or maybe like Velcro it. That's something that I would recommend doing. Uh, other than that, this is a very viable grip here for any of your mid-range mirrorless cameras. Um, I would be hesitant to put anything heavier than like a 6600 or a 6400 like I've got. But this is perfect for something like the ZV-1 or any other those smaller like compact shooting uh, devices. It's lightweight, very affordable, much cheaper than uh, the Sony variant. Uh, other than that, um, let me know if you guys are interested in something like this. Um, down below in the links in the description will be the product price and availability. Uh, hit that like button, subscribe if you want to see more. My name is Andy with Andy Vlogs, signing out.